everyone, welcome to Informatica Support TV. My name is Ninju Bijli and today I will be briefly explaining the compression feature available with Power Exchange for SAP 961. Agenda for today's video. What is the table compression feature? How to enable table compression feature with the SAP R3 sessions in Power Center? What are the supported modes? How does the compression work? Why one should be using the compression feature? So if you have an SAP R3 source with huge volume of data, the extraction is expected to take longer time as it requires higher number of read and write operations. As the read and write operation increases, power exchange for SAP session performance decreases. Table compression feature helps in reducing the number of read-write operations between the power center server and SAP box by compressing the source data. One could use this feature while extracting data from R3 table using the ABAP integration method. So how to enable the compressed data transfer in Power Exchange for SAP? The first step to complete before using or enabling this compression feature at Power Center side is to install the compression transport on the EC SAP ECC box. And coming to the Power Center configuration, you have to set a custom property named File Compress Enable to one either at the session level or at the IS level. One thing to keep in mind before setting the custom property at the integration service level is that it will have higher impact and is going to affect all your SAP R3 extract sessions. So the next question would be whether this compression feature is supported with all the S SAP R3 extract methods. Uh, the answer is no. You could use this compression feature only with the file mode sessions and not with any stream mode sessions. This is because stream mode sessions are meant for small extracts and it doesn't make sense to compress the data for extracting or while extracting smaller volume. And to enable the compression for an ABAP program that was generated earlier than version 961, you must first upgrade to version 961, generate and reinstall the ABAP program and then configure the custom property. Also, this compression algorithm is only supported from SAP ECC versions higher than 4.7. So please check your SAP version as well before enabling this property at the power center side. I understand that you will be curious to know how does this compression feature work. When you enable the compression feature by setting the custom property, the corresponding ABAP program at the SAP side compresses the source data into blocks and then loads, into the, loads it into the staging file. So the staging file created with this compression property at the staging directory is in a compressed format. Power Center Integration Service in turn reads the compressed data from the staging file and writes it to the target. By compressing the staged source data, we reduce the number of read-write operations between Power Center Server and SAP Box. Also, this way we can reduce the disk usage at the staging file directory. So, the sessions which were creating huge staging files will be really benefited by this new compression feature. And also, it assures better performance too. So if you quickly ask me why one should be using this SAP table compression feature? If you have a really slow performing SAP R3 session, this is a must to do configuration. To improve the session performance, to effectively process the data and also another advantage with this feature is the added security. The staged data or the staging file is no more in a human readable format. It is compressed. Hope you enjoyed the video. We would love to hear back from you. So please write in your valuable feedback and suggestions to support videos at informatica.com 
also you can follow us in twitter thank you